Two words, hot chocolate. Rody intro. Hi guys and welcome back to our fight against the frigid cold. We have just covered how to make a hearty winter minestrone soup last week and today we are going to learn how to make a super thick, rich and creamy, Italian style homemade hot chocolate. This hot chocolate recipe is so thick, it will coat our entire mouth and it's going to be the perfect companion as you curl up under your blankets. Now before you run off, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications and drop a like and comment too. Now let's dive right in. Alright, the first thing that we need is a chocolate bar so get one that is about 60-70% to cocoa. Now with a sharp knife, we're going to start carving out thin strips of the chocolate from the chocolate bar. When doing this, I like to rest my non-main hand on the spine of my knife to give me some extra support. Now the thinner we make our chocolate slices, the easier it will be to dissolve in the hot milk later on. In all, we'll want about 115 grams or about 4 ounces of chocolate. Once you've prepared enough, gather the chocolate shavings together. When you're done sneaking in a few bites, use your hands and gently rub the chocolate shavings together to break it down into smaller pieces. With the back of your knife, you can now scoop up your chocolate shavings and place it into a bowl. This method helps to make sure that you do not dull the edge of your knife. Now let's set the chocolate aside. In the measuring cup, we're going to pour out 1.5 cups of whole milk. Now we're going to set aside a quarter cup of milk and to that, we're going to add 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. Give it a good stir with a fork or a tiny whisk to make a nice thick slurry. Now cornstarch is prized for its thickening properties. When heated in moisture, its long starch molecules will unravel and swell and it's going to be the secret ingredient for us to thicken our hot chocolate. Now let's add our remaining milk to a small pot. About 1-2 to two tablespoons of white sugar depending on how sweet you want your drink to be. And a tiny pinch of salt. Now we're going to grab a tea strainer like this and to that we're going to add 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder. Next, we'll use the back of the spoon to pass the cocoa powder through the strainer. Sifting the cocoa powder like this helps to ensure that there are no lumps. Now let's turn on the heat to a medium low and with a whisk, let's start whisking all the ingredients together. When the milk is just about to come to a simmer, add all your chocolate shavings into the pot. You should notice your chocolate is starting to melt but we're going to use a whisk to help it along the way. Once our chocolate is completely dissolved, we're going to add our cornstarch slurry into the pot. So with one hand whisking, we're going to slowly pour the slurry into the pot in a gentle slow stream. Continue whisking for about 2-3 minutes and make sure that you don't allow the milk to come to a full boil. Very soon you'll start to notice that your milk will start to thicken. You will know you're done when your milk turns into this thick, luscious and creamy hot chocolate. So let's turn off the heat and remove the pot from the stove because it's time to serve. Now pour your hot chocolate into a cup, preferably one with a hand though because it's going to be really hot. And we're going to dust some extra cocoa powder onto the top of the hot chocolate. And while we're at it, why don't we add some extra chocolate shavings. And now you're rewarded with a piping hot, thick, velvety, luscious hot chocolate that's sure to warm your soul. But wait, if you truly want to indulge, then go ahead and add some whipped cream. Another layer of cocoa powder. And you guessed it, more chocolate shavings. And voila, the ultimate homemade chocolate experience. Aha, now this is what I call a hot chocolate. It's so thick, rich and creamy, it's so comforting that it feels like a hug in a cup. As you can see, making your own hot chocolate at home is not only super easy, it's going to taste better and it's going to contain less chemicals as compared to store-bought varieties. Now I don't really have a sweet tooth, so 1 tablespoon of sugar was more than enough for me, but feel free to adjust your sugar level as per your taste. Now I'm going to run off to enjoy this cup, if you actually enjoyed this video or if you learned something, don't forget to like, subscribe and to turn on your notifications. Don't forget to take care of yourself, your friends and family, this is Tatio, signing off.